Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and this is part three of our Annette AA build. We're gonna cover the Y-axis and the hotbed. Again, you will need to pause and rewind the video at various parts. So we're gonna use these four little acrylic tabs, and we're going to use four of the M318 screws and M3 nuts, and we're basically going to attach two of these tabs on the back side of the printer, as you can see me doing here. Um, these tabs are going to be used to cover the hole that's beside them, which is basically going to keep the smooth rods in place. So just install them just as pictured here, nice and tight, and they should be covering the hole that's right next to them. Then you're going to take two of these shorter smooth, smooth rods. Um, there should be four short smooth rods and two longer. So take two of the shorter and four of these aluminum bearing blocks. And you're just basically going to slide the smooth rod through the other side of the 3D printer and pop on two of these aluminum blocks on each side. Be careful when sliding the bearings on so that way you don't damage the little bearing balls inside. And then just slide it all the way in to where that hole is that's covered with that tab you just installed. And then you're just going to do the same exact thing to the other side. So slide the second smooth rod in, put the two aluminum blocks in, pop it into place and then cover the front holes with the last two of those tabs along with the M318 screws and the M3 nuts. Again, you want to make sure everything's nice and tight. You might have to readjust your uh, long threaded rods to make sure that it's tight and that there's not any wiggle on those two smooth rods. But as you can see here, it's got the aluminum blocks on. They're fitted in the holes correctly. And on the front side, you've got the tabs. And now we're gonna go ahead and take four of these M4 by 14 screws and these two little acrylic tab pieces. And we're going to install them on the middle of this aluminum bracket, just like is pictured here. Don't, don't install them tight yet because you're gonna use them to basically hold the belts in place. So just fit the screws through the acrylic pieces into the aluminum plate, but don't clamp them all the way down. So just like that, and as you can see here, there's still a lot of room. If you pull up on the acrylic pieces, they can slide up and down. We're gonna tighten them shortly here, but just for now, leave them there. Next, we're going to install the plate onto those four acrylic blocks. So you'll have to line them up and take these M4 by eight screws. It's gonna take a total of 16 screws, and you're just going to um, secure the plate or the aluminum uh, plate to those four aluminum blocks. It recommends doing crisscross, so um, just kind of loosely screw them all in crisscross uh, from each other and then you can tighten them in. Then you're going to need to take this belt and basically slide the belt under one of these little tabs and tighten it down. Once you've tightened it down, you're going to need to feed the belt through the motor on one side and through the two y-axis bearings on the other side. So hopefully you can see it here and it makes sense. If not, you may need to reference another picture. but um, it's pretty simple, um, and once you have fed it, you're going to go ahead and clamp down the other side of the belt to the other little notch, uh, the other little acrylic piece. Then we're going to go ahead and take these M3 by 30 screws, just four of them, as well as the springs and wing nuts, four wing nuts and four springs, and you're just going to attach the aluminum plate down to the aluminum block. So now you've got your bed nice and fitted. Um, you don't have to have it leveled or anything like that right now. You just want to have it secured like pictured here. So anyways, guys, this has been part three of the Annette A8 build. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And in the next part, we are actually going to be doing um, some of the Z axis and then we'll be moving on to the X axis. So we're definitely making some progress. As you can see here, the printer is starting to take shape. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smack the like button and I'll see you all in part four.